everyone, Michael here with TerraFuse bringing you another video using our TF Structural Repair Mortar. Today's focus is going to be on a staircase, as you can see there, in very bad shape, bringing it from a state like that into a fully functional, restored state like this in a matter of one day. Um, you can also see stairs like this where the deterioration isn't quite as bad. You just have the front nosings loose and weak. And you can take stairs like that to a, a functional state like this again within a one day period without having to rip out and replace these concrete staircases. First step, as always, is gonna be the preparation. The most crucial step and important step is to remove all loose deteriorating concrete so that you're left with a nice sound, um, clean, porous concrete surface. That's what the TF structural is going to be bonding to. You want to make sure this step is done very well and, and efficiently where you're essentially removing all that loose crumbling concrete down to a condition like this where it's as solid as possible um, for the TF structural repair mortar to bond to. So after the prep is done, the first step is going to be forming up the staircase. Lots of different methods to create forms. Um, what we've done here is use two by eights and put some tuck tape on it. It's important to note the TF structural is a very um, tenacious bond with any type of porous surface. So if you don't protect your wood with tuck tape or something of that nature, the TF structural is going to bond very well to that, making your, your forms extremely hard to remove. So we've made our first mix here using a full bag of the TF structural as well as adding about 30% clean dry aggregate to it to extend the yield. And the first step you see me doing is really working in that product at the front edge uh, of the form there to make sure all the air is out and you eliminate all the honeycombing as much as possible to get a nice smooth front face finish. Once you strip the forms, that can be your final finish. So you really wanna make sure you, you work the product in. Um, and we're just mixing up the product one bag at a time in five gallon pails uh, with a low RPM mix drill. And there we've just added in our second bucket. And again, I'm working that product in to the first mix to really make sure that front face is, is smooth and, and worked in very well. And then uh, the final mix I poured on, I'm just doing a spread here with the trowel to get it relatively smooth and uh, even and level. Here we just skip down to another step where we've done the same process, just filled up that whole form and troweling it out as flat as possible. This isn't going to be the final finish of the stairs, so you're really just trying to work it back and forth, uh, mainly to get your your surface nice and level and flat. Here, because the back of the stair is, is so deteriorated, I don't really have a, a measure of my heights, so I'm just uh, verifying as I go with a level there to make sure the step is sloping from the back towards the front and it's not gonna pool water. I just used a little margin trowel there to fold the edge over and get it a bit more round. There's a lot of techniques to do that. You can use a rounding uh, a rounded edging tool, um, the same that you would use for concrete, just to get that rounded edge and, and pull it away from the form. So when you strip your form, you have that nice um, shape of the stair. And here, just working that front edge again, putting a final finish on the product. And again, once we strip these forms, this is just a, a step to rebuild and restore the stairs. And then we can put a final finish on using the TF structural when it's done. So there are the, the steps finished. We are doing every other stair, just easier to work with um, the forming. And here you can see the top of the steps are done and we've formed up the remaining stairs. You can see here how much product is actually going in, um, how much deterioration there really was on these stairs. And here, now that I have a riser, I'm able to, to chalk a string line in the back to get my heights. So when I trowel those stairs in, I can just follow that line to make sure the slope is proper. So here you can see the stairs are now structurally rebuilt and restored back to a functional state. Uh, here's an image from the top. You're seeing some coloration differences. That's some of the forms that were stripped earlier um, are coloring and starting to lighten up um, before the other stuff. And there's just a picture and reminder of what these stairs were like when they began compared to what you can get them to within a one to two day period. So over here, the other stairs that you saw at the beginning of the video weren't as badly deteriorated. Um, so the backs of the steps were still in good shape. 
sound, um, solid concrete as you can see here and the front part is the TF structural with aggregate and it was just ground down to get the, all the heights the same and smooth. So what we're doing on this staircase because you have two different finishes with the TF structural and the old concrete, we're putting a skim coat using the same product, the TF structural repair mortar on top of these stairs at about a quarter of an inch. You can see the consistency it was mixed to is uh, a little drier so that the product will stay where you leave it and it's not really runny and flowing off the stairs. And all I'm doing with my trowel is, is working back and forth to get the bulk of the product off the stair. You can see there I'm pulling some excess material off. And once I have the right amount of product on the stairs, then I can just work it back and forth. Again, making sure that the back of the step is higher than the front so you're not pooling any kind of water on there. And doing a few final swipes on this. You don't have to get it um, a perfect finish on it because the broom is going to help knock down any trowel lines that you leave. And uh, I use the broom there just to knock any product that's over overlapped on the edge. You can just smooth it in with the broom or that little paintbrush you see in the stairs works great for that. And then you just run the broom along the product to put your lines in and you get that finish you can see in the video there. You just continue to work down the stairs as such until they're all finished. So what you're seeing here is we use the TF structural um, inside the forms, the deep fill, and that's the final finish you get on the risers. They are starting to color a little differently because the product will lighten up over time. And then we use the TF structural to recreate the treads with the broom lines in them, um, essentially giving you that non-slip textured broom finish. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know there's a lot of information in a short amount of time, but if you do have any questions, please email us or phone us directly. Um, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and leave some comments below if you have any specific questions or any requests for any other videos you'd like to see.